been stories that we're following for you right now, starting with that church massacre in Texas. And the big question this morning, could it have been prevented? Diane Pathy was in the Alert Center with some new information on how the suspect died, Diane. Terrell, we have a ton of new information, so bear with me as I go through it. This is just into our newsroom. The Wilson County Sheriff says they believe Devin Kelly died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound, and there's more. They finally now know what the connection is to this church. We're told that the shooter's in-laws occasionally attended church services there. In fact, they came to the church later in the afternoon when they heard about this shooting and more about the victims. 12 of the 14 victims, both killed and wounded, were children. 26 was the total number of people killed. 20 were the number of people injured. As far as Kelly's family, the suspect's family, the wife and child of the shooter, we're told, are safe. And the sheriff tells us he does not believe that death toll will rise. He believes the wounded right now are stable. That's a little bit of new information there as well. Now, as you mentioned, Kelly's criminal history should have been prevented, should have prevented him, rather, from passing that background check required to purchase the gun. Police tell us that Devin Kelly did walk up to that church, did open fire, unloaded on that congregation, killing the 26 people, injuring 20 others. He was leaving the church. Police say a resident actually stopped him, exchanged gunfire with him. And, of course, we have now learned that Kelly died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. He did have a connection to that church's in-laws occasionally going to that church. Stay with ABC7 as we continue to get more information.